And welcome back. We were back to sunshine as we made our way through the day today, but it was still pretty cool for this time of year. Uh, here's a look outside in our tower cam, and uh, the sun is just about to set at around 6.20 p.m., mainly clear skies out there right now. It's uh, 36 degrees. It does feel like 29 but the wind is southwest. That's going to warm us up. Wind speeds right now around 9 miles per hour. North Platte dew point around 17 degrees. Uh, 32 right now at Broken Bow, 35 Ogallala, 33 Lexington Imperial. Low to mid 30s as you make your way into the Sand Hills. So we're still keeping the heat uh, as we make our way through the 6 p.m. hour. Temperatures uh, have warmed up nicely because of that southwesterly wind. Wind speeds right now 5 to 15 miles per hour. Valentine a little breezier. Sustained winds around 17 miles per hour out in that direction, but we are mainly clear right now. Could be a few clouds to make your way north and west of Hyannis, but that is it for the moisture across the region. So the uh, surface map across the country shows that it looks like uh, we still got that major storm that moved from Oklahoma, Kansas, all the way into the Midwest and Northeast, and a lot of rain south and east of that. So the Midwest and Northeast did have uh, a pause in terms of moisture, but now uh, this low pressure system, the jet stream really giving them a lot of rain and snow. For us, back to our typical weather pattern, high pressure to our south, giving us that southwesterly wind. Do have the lows still tracking to the north. That's going to be the story through the weekend. Then a major cold front's going to come through as we start next week. So the skycast shows could have a few clouds into the panhandle, mainly clear skies off to the south. Temperatures falling back through the 20s as we make our way through the evening and overnight, and then with a nice westerly wind as we go through the day on Friday. Mostly sunny to sunny skies across the region and temperatures getting back into the mid 50s. Going through the overnight Friday into Saturday, a little cooler into the upper teens in some areas. But as we make our way through the day on Saturday, more of a south wind along with a good amount of sunshine will put us into the upper 50s, maybe some lower 60s across the region as we stay mainly dry. Here's how it looks on the weather map. The cool air is exiting along with that system that gave us a little bit of snow know that's moving into the Midwest. High pressure to our south is going to be in charge, not only for Friday. It's a dual high pressure system, so another one is right behind that. So we'll continue to have that southerly or southwesterly wind through Saturday and Sunday. The cold air staying well off to our north, and also any snow or rain is staying off to our north, too. So. Our next weather maker is this cold front that's going to come through as we start the uh, work week and uh, much cooler air will be on their way ap after that. So temperature outlook, we have a 90 to 100 percent chance of being below average in the six to 10 day outlook. That is February 23rd to February 27th. Average high temperature into the mid 40s. We're going to have some days next week. We're not going to get out of the single digits for highs. Other days, we're going to be into the teens. So definitely enjoy the weekend. You barely see a 90 to 100% chance of being below average on the long range. Uh, we got sunshine mid 50s by Friday turns into the low to mid 60s on Sunday. A little breezy with sunshine over the weekend. 23 on Monday, clouding up. Some more light snow possible. There's your Tuesday, a high of nine. And then mid teens turn into upper 20s. We gradually warm up Wednesday and Thursday. Kent? Yeah, cold is coming, but for the next several days, nice weather. You know, it is pretty good timing. Yeah, thanks so much, Justin. Coming up, we have Husker teams in action from coast to coast tonight. Hear about the Nebraska.